In this video, we'll talk about introduction to proportional relationships and how they can be represented with both equations and with tables. So let's talk about what they look like in terms of an equation. So overall, if something is a proportional relationship, it would have this kind of structure where y is equal to k times x, where x and y are your input and output, respectively, and k is a number, a constant. So some examples of proportional relationships would be something to the effect of, well, y equal 2x. Every single time, my y is going to be twice the size of x. I could also have something where y equals, say, a half times x. It could be fractional. It could be a decimal. I could also have um, something like so, 1.6 times x. And this number here is called the constant of proportionality. It's a big name for just a number. It's whatever this k is. Whatever number is multiplied times the x to make y. Now, some examples of non-proportional relationships. would be, well, let's say we have y equals 2x plus 1. This plus 1 makes it to where that ratio is no longer maintained. That it, it differs depending on each one I, or each value of x. We could also look at it and say, okay, if we have an x, so y equals x squared is proportional, so on and so forth. It's also probably worth noting, um, you can have uh, negative proportional relationships. So say we had y equals negative 3x. This would also be acceptable. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at what it would look like to have a proportional relationship with a table. Now the big thing is that when we're looking at an x to a y, if I divide x over y, it's going to equal the same number regardless of which pair I pick. Or if I have y over x, it would work out the same. So one example of a proportional would be, okay, if I have, um, let's go with y equals 2x again, just to kind of iterate the example. So x is always half of whatever y is, y is always double whatever x is. So we have 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8. This ratio, 1 half is equal to 2 fourths, is equal to 3 sixths, is equal to 4 eighths. All of these are the same. They equal a half. So they have the same number value when I make a ratio. However, if I look at a non-proportional relationship, and let's say it starts out the same. I have 1, 2, then 2, 4, and then I get 3, 7, and 4, 10. Well, sure. These two, 1 half, does equal 2 fourths. However, these are not equal to 3 sevenths, and it's not equal to 4 tenths. It's not maintained all the way throughout. This creates a problem. So this means this would be non-proportional. So be careful with that. Sometimes there can be a couple points that would indicate that it is proportional, but you have to consider all of them. All of them have to follow this pattern here. Every single pairing has to have that ratio maintained throughout. 